Jacob deGrom out for the season, and it's believed a good part of next season. He needs Tommy John surgery. The newest Texas Ranger has a torn elbow ligament, needs that surgery, and it's another cautionary tale of the free agent market, and another tale of flying a little too close to the sun. Let's do a little digging in. Jacob deGrom is, inning for inning, the most dominant starter in baseball. This offseason, despite significant injury history, the Rangers stunned the free agent market by giving deGrom a five-year deal at $37 million a year. Now, it was stunning because deGrom hasn't hit 100 innings in his single season in four years. One of those years was the short season of 2020, but DeGrom has been so on and off the last few years, it's difficult to envision him even completing that pandemic season, even if it were possible. Maybe that's unfair, but we'll get back to that. DeGrom's career has had several phases. His first four years, 2014 to 2017, look at the numbers. He's very good. 170 innings a season. That's the main thing. A 298 ERA. Strikeout rate is quite good. The ERA plus 130. So everything's very, very good. But then... There's the two years of all-time greatness, 2.05 ERA. Also, the innings, 210 innings a year. The strikeout rate, it's going up, 11.2 per nine. ERA plus is 190, all-time great. Then, the last four years, all that greatness, but a life of day-to-day -day unavailability. That's now four years averaging 64 innings a season. One of those years, again, it's not his fault, but still, the ERA, Fantastic. Strikeout rate still going up. All-time great. But he can't pitch. Now, injuries happen. But it's the way that they happen that make DeGrom, I'm sorry, unreliable. Over the past four years, he's been routinely rested, watched, and then shut down. In 2021, he was threatening Bob Gibson's historic 1968, the record for the lowest ERA. But he had issues with his side, his lower back, his shoulder, and then his forearm. He finished with a 1.08 ERA, but he was done for good in early July. Finished with only 92 innings. Last year, in his contract year, he didn't start his season until August. He made 11 starts, that's it. Frequently was given extra rest between those starts. He threw just 64 innings last year, and he had a 6 ERA over his last four starts. I want to emphasize, I know, pitchers get hurt, and you need to be careful for blaming an athlete for getting injured. But staying healthy is a skill, and part of that skill is staying within yourself. Now, I often refer to DeGrom as a thoroughbred or a fancy sports car, something that moves at top speed. But I have a better analogy, as you can see. DeGrom isn't a sports car. He's a dragster. That's a dragster right there. To give you context, in NASCAR, a car goes about 180 miles an hour. A Formula One car goes about 220 miles per hour. The dragster goes 330 miles per hour. It's much faster. But it does one thing. It can't turn, and it's always a threat to fly right off the track and break up. That's Jacob deGrom. deGrom has always had a good fastball, right? Remember earlier we broke up his career into three different phases? Here they are again. The same years, 2014 to 2017, the two great years, and then the last four years. When he was good, he's throwing 95 miles per hour. That's a fast car. In his Cy Young run, those two years, he's throwing about 96 and 97. That's a sports car. And then the last four years, he's sitting 99. Averaging, that's a dragster. Number one in the sport, top speed, insane speed, full throttle. But he keeps blowing out and flying off the track. With that velo, look what happens to his contact rate and his swing and miss rate as well. There's a shelf between 2019 when he was throwing 200 innings a season and 2020 when he started averaging 64 innings a season. The contact rate for hitters drops from 70 to 60%. That's a massive drop, and he was already great. The swing and miss rate, that's pitch for pitch, is 15% for him, already good. It jumps instantly to over 20%. Again, a huge jump, and he's 32 at that point. And it's all good, except for one thing. His body clearly cannot take the strain of that velocity. There's a direct correlation between his velocity and his swing and miss rate and his inability to stay healthy. DeGrom seemingly needs to throttle it back and stay on track, but he did not do that, and now his 2023 and 2024 will be limited again. That likely will make it five years of not hitting 100 innings.